Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be working on the BMW 1 series today but this video applies to all BMWs okay this issue affects pretty much every BMW out there. Now essentially what we are going to be doing is swapping out this sensor right here it is a genuine BMW sensor. I'll take it out of the bag just so you can have a closer look. So then this is the sensor right here. We're gonna be swapping it out on the BMW 1 series because they have a fault code for this sensor. And if you don't know what this sensor is or what it does, then this video is definitely worth watching. Now people ask me all the time where I get my parts from and I pretty much always answer fixed parts online. That is where I got this from. If you need any genuine BMW or like OEM quality replacements, then check out Fixed Parts Online. I will leave all their details down in the description box below. And uh, yeah, they have some decent prices, so it's definitely worth checking out. And uh, yeah, let's get out to the car. Let's find where this is on the car and let's get it swapped out. Okay then, so here we have the BMW 1 series then and the sensor is in the engine bay so what i'll do is pop the bonnet first and the sensor that we are going to be replacing today is located just here this is the auc sensor and essentially what this does is it measures the air for any toxic smells and stops them from entering the cabin but because this is faulty it means that there is a chance that we may be getting some toxic smells going into the cabin so we need to get this thing replaced so all you need to do to remove it is just unplug the electrical connector this slides off like so and then this should twist in its housing like so and then it should just pull out and there we go there's that removed okay so you can see we have our original one here it actually looks like it's made by a company called paragon as you can see it is uh, genuine bmw where is it see it is genuine bmw as is the new part of course one thing i did notice though the part numbers are slightly different. This one ends in 60, this one ends in 80. I'm guessing this new one is just an updated part number. But let's get it plugged in anyway. Okay, so when it comes to the installation of the new sensor then, pretty self-explanatory, exactly the opposite of the removal. Just line it up with the tabs and then give it a twist. And then just plug the electrical connector in. Make sure it's nice and tight. And there we go. Sensor replaced. So then if you have an error code relating to your AUC sensor, you know, this is definitely something that you can do yourself. It literally takes, what, 30 seconds to remove the old one and install the new one. Very, very easy to do. So now what I'm going to do then is drop the hood back down and then what we're going to do is get inside with ISTA and check to see if the fault code has disappeared. Okay then, so we're in the car now just with ISTA. We're just going to read out the uh, fault data, see what codes we are showing and uh, yeah, see how we're looking. Okay, so it looks like we have four codes in the fault memory. I'll just go ahead and select display fault memory and where are we then so the one that we should be getting rid of is the AUC sensor as you can see I've had that code there ever since I bought the car it says is not existent now so that should go away once I clear these obviously we have air mass sensor that's because the um, mass airflow sensors uh, disconnected I know about that and then this combi one here I actually found out what that is it's because the um, uh, gear shift indicator on the display here is not working so yeah that, that's no no big deal but yeah let's go ahead and delete fault memory okay so I did go ahead and delete all of the fault codes and now I'm just doing a new test and it doesn't look like the AUC sensor fault 
is here anymore because it was in the JBE module. As you can see, that is now green, but we'll just wait for it to do a full test. And there we go then. As you can see, we no longer have the AUC sensor fault code. We just have the two for the mass airflow sensor, which obviously I know about, and the combi one, but the AUC sensor fault code is now gone. So that is a job well done. Well, there we go then. That is another thing fixed on the BMW 1 series. That is the AUC sensor replaced. Now, like I said, it's definitely worth checking the AUC sensor on your BMW because it is a very, very common issue. Like I said, it covers a whole wide range of models. So it's definitely worth checking if you do have a BMW. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And I will see you all in that next one. Peace.